When we're looking at low pressure, quick disconnect systems for rebreather diving, either talking about oxygen or diluent or maybe an offboard solution, the two fittings that are most common are the low pressure inflator fitting and the QC6 fitting. Now everybody should be familiar with this hose. We use them on our BCDs or our dry suits. Pull the collar back, insert the nipple, push it together, it's locked in place and gas can flow through. And this system is easy to put together, it's easy to take apart. It's a great fitting, but it has some drawbacks. First off, we've got a restriction of gas volume that can flow through here just because of the design elements. And that means we're not going to be able to like breathe off of this hose if we had it connected to something like a BOV. There's just not enough gas that can flow through the restrictions here. The other big downside for this fitting type is the fact that this end is open. So water can come through here. Now that's not a big deal on a BCD or a dry suit because there's a valve on the back end that prevents that from getting to many of the components. If we have this connected to like our solenoid block and we undo the hose, water's gonna be able to get in there and damage components. So this is a wet fit, low gas volume connector, but it's available everywhere. I mean, every dive shop, you can replace a low pressure hose. They're really simple. They're not very expensive. If we need a dry connect or a higher gas flow system, then we should look at the QC6. These fittings attach to a standard low pressure regulator hose. So you just buy whatever hose is the correct length, screw it on there, and the fitting is ready to go. Both of these fittings are sealed until connected. So there's no water intrusion that's going to make a difference on components on the backside whether they're pressurized or not. Each side has a seal just like this. And when we connect them, those open and gas can flow through. Connecting is a little different. We grab both sides, push them together, and we're locked in place. Disconnecting is simply pulling this collar and it all comes apart. We don't need a ton of dexterity to operate this fitting. Push together, pull the collar, it pops apart. So this is ideal also for people who are using thick gloves or maybe dry gloves. So the QC6 has benefits in the dry connect fitting and the gas flow that can go through here. This can feed a BOV or any other higher flow system that we need, unlike the standard low pressure inflator, but there are downsides to the QC6. First off is cost. These are significantly more expensive than buying a low pressure hose. These also have more springs and O-rings and components inside, which makes them a higher risk failure point. And while the collar is really nice because we can one-handedly take this apart, if this is positioned somewhere where it's rubbing up against our dry suit or webbing, it can pop itself apart by rubbing up against stuff. Just like many other things, it really comes down to utility. So if we need the value of a QC6 for higher flow or dry connect, then all those cons really just go away because this is the best tool for the job. But if we don't need the dry connect and we don't need that higher flow, then the low pressure inflator hose is gonna do just fine. So those are the basic differences between QC6s and our standard low pressure inflator. Feel free to holler at me if you've got questions about making a choice between the two. And thank you for watching.